I'm Chad from Autel Diagnostics, and the Maxisys ADAS tablet provides comprehensive coverage for ADAS calibrations, along with advanced diagnostic capabilities and time-saving automotive service features, for which Autel's Maxisys line of tools are known. A lane camera calibration is necessary when this video will demonstrate the procedure to calibrate the integrated driver support module lane change camera on equipped Honda vehicles. These vehicle preparations vary by vehicle and system. Please follow the instructions on the Maxisys ADAS tablet to ensure accurate calibration. Attach the VCI to the vehicle and turn the ignition on. Ignition on, engine off. Connect the diagnostic tool to the vehicle. Tap the Auto VIN button on the upper left of the screen to read the vehicle identification number and identify the vehicle's model and equipped systems. Select ADAS Calibration. Select Integrated Driver Support System Calibration. Move the calibration frame in front of the vehicle. The floor must be level. Neither a pattern board nor the target board holder should be attached to the frame. Rotate the fine-tuning bolt to align the marked lines. Loosen the handle and rotate the fine-tuning bolt until the scale value is zero. Tighten the handle to secure the crossbar. Align the pointer on the sliding plate with the zero marked line. Tighten the bolt to secure the sliding plate. Turn on the lasers and aim the beams at the front center of the vehicle. Adjust the height of the crossbar so that it is level with the center of the front wheel. Move the frame slowly. The distance between the back of the crossbar and the vehicle center line of the wheel should be 411 millimeters. Keep the laser focused on the center of the front of the vehicle. When the frame is in position, power off the laser. Rotate the bolts on the base until they are secured to the ground. Do not over tighten. Attach the two wheel clamps to the rear wheels and place the paws outside of the wheel rim and tighten. Ensure the wheel clamps are firmly secured to the wheels. Insert the connecting shaft of the laser into the clamp port. The laser calibration board should be facing the front of the vehicle. Tighten the bolt to secure the laser. Turn on the attached lasers and adjust them so the beam lights the rulers on each side of the crossbar cover plate. Loosen the handle and rotate the fine-tuning bolt until the rulers on each side of the crossbar plate have the same value lit by the laser. Tighten the handle to secure the crossbar. Lift the cover plates on each end of the crossbar. Adjust the wheel lasers to control the up and down movement of the reflected beam. The reflected beam must shine on at least one of the scale boards of the laser boards. Rotate the bolt left or right until the scale values lit by the reflected beam are the same on each side of the bar. Now the calibration frame is parallel to the vehicle. Close the cover plates on the crossbar. Power off lasers on the attached wheel clamps and remove clamps from the wheels. Tighten the sliding plate bolts on the target board holder crossbar. Attach the target board holder to the crossbar and tighten the bolts to secure the holder. Move each of the two target board sliders to 640 millimeters on the ruler attached to the holder and tighten the sliders in place. Attach the target board CSC601 backslash 8-L to the board slider on the left of the holder and attach target CSC601 backslash 8-R on the right board holder slider. The left and right boards are different. Ensure the targets are positioned correctly. There should be no light source, windows, or lighting fixtures, no reflective material, and no black and white pattern material similar to the calibration board behind the target boards. Rotate all bolts on the base of the calibration frame. Ensure the frame is level by referencing the bubble level. Loosen the ruler to touch the ground. Adjust the height of the crossbar to set the pointer at a specific height value on the B side of the ruler. For this calibration, the pointer should be set at 1500 millimeters. Push the ruler back to the original position and secure it. The tablet will display a message when the lane change camera calibration is successful. If you have any questions or want to learn more about the Autel ADAS system, please visit our website at autel.com.